Hi everyone, Melissa Bender here with tonight's workout. It's going to hit all of the major areas in your body, so let's get started. First exercise I'm doing today is mountain climbers. I have my timer set, so I'm going to get down into my plank position and then I'm going to drive my knees to my chest one at a time for as long as it takes until this timer goes off. And the goal is to keep moving, try and keep your hands placed under your shoulders, core pulled in tight the entire time, keep breathing, you're really working your low abs and getting your whole cardiovascular system revved with this exercise. Okay, next I'm going to do dips to really hit the backs of your arms, little tricep area. I'm going to use my dip station, but in case you don't have one of those at home, you can also do these with a chair. All you do is put the palms of your hands flat on the chair, let your fingertips come down over the edge, put your legs out straight until your body's in a nice straight plank position, and then you're going to bend, drop your butt toward the floor, but don't let it touch, arms come to a 90 degree angle, and then push up straight. That's one. Core should come in tight, drop, and slow and controlled, up, that's two, three. If you're using a dip station, you can do it, uh, I always cross my ankles and then drop and push up, one. Doing this exercise is too much with your feet crossed. What you can do is put your toes on the floor. You're barely putting any weight on them. See how I'm lifting them right up? But you can use it as a, a little bit of a balance and a little bit of a help to keep you up while you go down. Next exercise I'm using the stability ball for. I'm going to do V-ups with a ball pass. So I'm going to pass the ball from my feet to my hands. So I'm going to start out with my low back pressed into the floor, core pulled in tight. I'm going to hold the ball between my ankles, lift, pass it, tap it behind me, pass it, that's one, two, three, four, Okay, next we're going to do a crane squat, which we're going to start out like we do for chair pose. Both feet come together, knees bend, butt sticks out, hands can start at your chest in prayer position. We're going to lift them, but first we want to shift our weight into our left leg. We're going to keep our foot flexed, and this is very important to protect your knee. Bring it up onto that thigh, foot stays flexed the whole time, arms reach up, and we're going to squat. One two, three, and you'll feel a nice stretch throughout your right side while you're really working your left side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doing the same exact thing on the other side. Again, my left foot is lifted this time. My foot stays flexed the whole time to protect that knee. Core pulls in and squat. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, next I'm going to do L-sit pull-ups. So if that's too hard, what you're going to do is you're going to keep your heels on the floor the whole time and pull up. That's one, two. If you can add the L-sit portion, you're going to lift your feet off the ground when you pull up. One, two, three. Time for another core exercise. Once again, I have my ball. This time I'm going to put both my arms out to the sides of me and I'm going to try and keep both shoulder blades pressing to the floor the entire time during this movement. I'm going to hold the ball between my feet straight up in the air and then I'm going to do tick-tock. So I'm going to drop my feet to the left, bring them up, drop them to the right. And I'm going to keep those shoulder blades down the whole time. So if you can't go all the way down, that's okay. I don't know how you do this one. I, can't I always look toward the opposite side to really keep my back working and stretching. Three, 
nice slow controlled movements. Four. Okay, next I'm going to do side lying leg lifts. You can see I have a resistance band tied around my legs just to make it a little bit harder. You don't need to have one of these. You could do this, this as a body weight only exercise. No resistance. Lay on your side. Right hand plants on the floor if you're laying on your left side. Your other hand is supporting your head. Your legs are stacked one on top of each other. And then you're going to lift. Hold it for a second and just bring it down. That's one. Hold. Bring it down. Two. Three. Four. And I'm keeping my foot flexed the whole time. Five. Six. Seven. Okay, same thing on the other side. So my left leg is lifting and holding. Abs pull in nice and tight. You can really feel your obliques working. So that's one, two, three. If you're not feeling it challenging enough, lift your leg higher. Four, five. Okay, back to the dip station. I'm going to be doing reverse push-ups or plank pull-ups, whichever you want to call them. Um, if you don't have a dip station, do regular push-ups with your arms spread out wider. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab onto my dip station, bring my body out into a straight line so I can hang down low like this, like you're in a plank but on the floor so your back's in the same line as your chest, and then pull up one, two, three, four, Okay, next I'm doing dip station leg lifts. If you don't have your dip station, I want you to just do a V up, which is laying on the floor, low back stays pressed into the floor, arms reach. So you're going to do this if you don't have a dip station. If you do have the dip station, you get to add your arms into the workout a little bit. So we're going to lift up legs stay straight down and then we're going to bend them at the hips so we're going to bring our feet straight up so this is what it looks like one two three four nice and controlled you five, don't want it to be too much momentum swinging your legs back six, and forth that's right good pause at seven, the bottom to ensure that eight Ooh. Okay, next I'm doing warrior three deadlifts or one leg deadlifts. And again, if you don't have a weight or if you're not comfortable using one, you can do this as a body weight exercise. And then what you will do is your toe will be behind you. You're standing with your weight on your left foot first and you're going to balance. You can reach out your arms or you can keep them down if you're gonna use a weight. Slight bend in your standing leg. Now with the weight, your form is gonna be the same except your arms are gonna be reaching down and when you come up, you really want to make sure you're using your glutes. So, I'm going to grab my weight. I'm going to start with my right foot lifting. So, bend, bring your back even, and then come up. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Okay, same thing on the other side. So my right, right leg is taking all of my weight this time. Left leg, my toes are touching the ground behind me. I'm bending forward, lifting my back leg. And then coming up using my glutes. That's one. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, last exercise. It's back to mountain climbers. Here we go.
everyone. That was today's workout. There will be a brand new one tomorrow, so be sure to check back for that. Also, the workout breakdown will be on my site, as usual, so stop by there, and I hope to see you soon.